This video will allow your primitive bro to become way stronger early in the game and push through stages easier and faster and more effective. Sub guys, it's 10 Kosh and Primitive Brothers first days guide. So what you need to do? <laughs> the chest. You want to get all the chests that are flying around. You want to focus on your progression properly because um, you will have limited amount of diamonds early on and in order to spend them effectively and get the right uh, options of summons will be crucial for your progression. Let's put it like that. So, uh, what do you want to go for? Obviously, like, really, really good idea. We'll be going for your turret as long as you unlock it because it will make your passive income way higher. You don't need to attack enemies anymore. You will get it shooting enemies automatically and get a good loot. Moreover, you can check over here and click DPS to see who is doing more damage. And at current state, my turret is doing like 60% uh, of my damage, which is uh, really good. So I won't have to click manually unless I'm fighting the high-end bosses to progress. So that's really efficient. Now, next important thing. You click in your civilization progress over here and you don't want to over-upgrade your stuff. Because stone, your main currency, will be limited. You would like to invest just as much as this research requirement is. So for now, for the rabbit stage, we need level 323 for bro turret and 308 for the hut. And we need to upgrade it just as high as that because upgrading it higher means waste of resources, guys. Don't do that. You don't need this. You will need those resources later for the upgrades. So, yeah. That will allow you to go to the new civilization and unlock next tier of gear that will make you and your team, your equipment, your everything way stronger. So that's really crucial to your progression and that should be your main point. This is like ascension basically in other games. You want to go for this. All right, while we're waiting to get enough uh, stone to upgrade our hut, how you should progress. Basically, you should fight the boss as soon as you can and uh, go as far as possible because the further you are, the more unlocks you will have and more free diamonds you will have because as you take out the boss, uh, you will be able to claim 10 diamonds per each boss. And as you progress, you will unlock more content and that will allow you to get more stuff. So always check this one and go for the milestones if you can. So next one is 41 for us. I'm not sure it will be able to give it uh, get it right now, but we'll do our best. And yeah, the boss fights are pretty easy, but I don't advise you use Thor's Might automatically because you will waste it on the weaker enemies. If you are at the end game and uh, end game, end of your line, whatever, and fighting the bosses like this one who is kicking your ass basically, so that's a really hard fight. Here you might want to go for Thor's Might that will lower the enemy boss. Uh, health and allow you to get a victory and go to the higher stage to get more loot per second and all that stuff But uh, if you find enemies that are easy to kill you will just waste it for nothing So don't do that the thing with the boss is that you need two things you need time uh, enough DPS and health to take them out. So in this scenario, we just got enough time to take them out. The timer is at top right corner. And if you won't be able to defeat the enemy in time, you will lose. So for now, probably we won't have enough DPS. Let's see. So even though we're not dying, or maybe it will be both, I don't know. Uh, we will still lose because we won't do enough damage. There we go. There we go. Yes, almost did it, but no. So what do you do in those scenarios where you either been killed or don't have enough DPS? You go for the blessing. This one, free buff stats will increase for bro and turret. That will be really, really good. So you want to watch an add. And if you want, you can watch another add as well. So let's go. So there we go. We got the damage buff. And uh, even though those ads are pretty annoying, I know that that will allow... Uh, developers game devs to get income from the free to play players which is pretty cool and uh, just like your subs here will allow me to make more videos so sub if you haven't yet so yeah right now even without our own involvement the boss is going down and uh you can push way further away oh we don't have enough damage i thought that we're good yeah together with physical attacks the boss got down so yes you can push way further with this and when you move to the next area, you will unlock something that will allow you to get stronger. We got the tower. That will, well, that will allow us to farm more stuff, obviously. 
let's go here we face some bosses first ones will be weak and as you go higher they will get harder you can get out of battle here which is really cool and go through those stages get those chests that contain a really useful loot for you just as all other dungeons they are really essential to your progression so i think we have enough to upgrade the hut to the required level now there we go 308 and we can go to the next civilization and that's really important because first of all you will get way higher stat multipliers right here so there we go all our stats got higher uh, we get more gold and we unlock the next tier of equipment which is essential so now when you get to that area go unlock everything get everything and start upgrading your gear over here if you can't do that if you can't upgrade your gear go summon it and yes summoning gear while it's fun and kinda uh, easy to get you don't want to over summon it as well because that won't give you anything like if we get like 550 summons straight away right now we will go over our limit and uh, we won't get the benefit of that so uh, take it slow if you have too many diamonds just take it slow don't rush too much and you might actually get lucky and get a really really good loot in your first summons and you don't want to overspend the diamonds here because you got so many areas where you can spend those said stand and summon 50 of those because he's too lazy to do it manually <laughs> all right so yeah uh same for the turrets and same for the cut materials you want to get everything to the highest tier possible as soon as possible and that will allow you to get way faster progression right here all right how did i get that much uh, amount of diamonds as a free to play i got it from the event so it's not like i'm cheating or something i never do that so it's fair income right here then after the gear is summoned you go to the smithy and over here you upgrade all that gear uh one slot after another manually and get the tier 4 stuff for everything at least you try to do that same goes for turret and uh, hot materials so get over here and upgrade them as well and then as simple as that change your equipment to the highest tier one and even though it looks horrible hilariously or something like that uh you will get better stuff and better skills right here so yeah basically you will become way stronger and after this upgrade the enemies are being one shotted by our turret and let's upgrade it a little bit so they will be actually one-shotted there we go ah it's still not enough <laughs> yeah the enemies will be way easier killed and you can blow through more bosses and unlock more content moreover if you go to the town and go to the library you will see that over here you get a uh, progress for handbook and by unlocking the next tier of everything you will get more stat bonuses for yourself so that's uh, really really nice and that will make you stronger and give you more oomph and just like that go through the bosses flow forward as you unlock something in the town or anywhere go explore it for example you do pvp you get those tokens you trade it for more gear so uh, it's pretty straightforward for the most parts of the game just do everything that you can do and if you feel that you are in trouble go for the free buff that will allow you to do more dps and flow even further and yeah don't forget about your daily quests that you have to do to get more diamonds and achievements because you can get quite a lot of stuff over here to get extra summons and another small tip guys check out the bag for the bags uh, for the chests that you have collected because you can use them all and get extra loot from here you might forget about that and you know you will go for summon if you don't have to you don't need to do it you can get them here and another one if you want the, your game to run offline uh in the background or something like that and you don't want to get your phone busy or, or kill your battery you can download the ld player the link will be in the video description that's android emulator and install the game over there so you can run it on your pc uh in the background and get your phone doing anything else <laughs> And yeah, guys, if you have your own tips on how to progress faster for the beginners in uh, Primitive Bros, let me know down below in the video comments. That will help YouTube algorithm to promote the video and other people can see those tips. So that will help everyone. Moreover, like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell button to see more idle incremental games because this is channel just about that. And check out the video description for the playlist for my other YouTube channels. I have three right now, which is crazy. Discord and social media. So something fun will be there. I'm pretty sure about that. <laughs> Other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching. That's about it for now. Stand Quash out. Have a good one. Bye.